Sony is rumored to be releasing a PlayStation Portable 2 or a PS Vita 2, and I can barely control my excitement, to be honest with you. I would stand up right now, but I have a rock hard erection. But before we get into this video, let me know in the comments if you would want to see a PS Vita style or a PSP style. I have it charging or I'd pull it up here, but yeah, it's the PSP Slim 2000. Or would you want it to look more like the PS Portal? Let me know in the comments down below. But anywho, I was on Twitter the other day and I came across this picture here and uh, I was like, do my eyes deceive me? Now, these are all rumors. Nothing is 100% confirmed but PlayStation fans are pretty hyped and I'm definitely pretty hyped because I have a lot of memories on that PSP. Also enjoy the gameplay. It's a little bit of SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 and some Sean White snowboarding on the PlayStation Portable. Figured I'd play some uh, old school stuff. I also have the menu up here on the back if you notice that. One of the biggest things with PlayStation Portable is that you want it to be able to play games natively. You know, when the PS5 came out and they said, oh, we're coming out with a new portable PlayStation, but it was just a PS5 streaming system. That's no fun. Because I don't, one, I don't have a PS5, but two, I wanted a actual PlayStation handheld that could take me back nostalgically. And this is rumored to be able to play games all on its own, as well as have access to the entire PS4 library and some titles on PS5. That right there is already pretty crazy, but the PS Vita was also supposed to be able to play some PlayStation 3 games and didn't exactly hold up to that promise as much as we had hoped. Now, PlayStation 1 on PS Vita, that's where it's at. That's what I usually play on PS Vita. It will definitely be pretty cool to have its own library of games as well. But I'm hoping to see some more titles because I know the PS Vita kind of slacked on that side of the spectrum. There wasn't as many big titles as there should have been. They had like one Call of Duty come out on there and it was like Black Ops Declassified or something like that. And I don't know. I, I looked it up. I thought about getting it. Let me know if you want to see me play it. It is going to be powered by an AMD APU which uh, is pretty close to the Asus ROG Ally or the Lenovo Legion Go in the Steam Deck. So, I mean, if it's close to the Steam Deck, we could definitely see at least close to PS4 graphics, I hope. Or more, who knows? We, we may get even crazier. Now, the only thing with this is we can't expect it to be around the same price as the previous PlayStation Portables. With the last PlayStation Portable, the PS Vita, coming in at about $250, $300, this has access to PS4 titles and a little bit of PS5 titles. So I'd imagine it's not just going to be a little extra like $25, $50. Bucks. I'm looking for it to be around anywhere from $300, bare minimum, up to about $500, $550, possibly depending on the capabilities of the system, like I said. Because compared to the Switch in 2017 at $300, the Steam Deck at $400, all the way up to about $700, $800, I think. And then the Switch 2 is rumored to be coming out around $400. So, I would say it's at least going to be in the ballpark of $400 to $550. Kind of pricey for a handheld, but at the same time, being able to play console games, you know, I mean, the entire PS4 library, supposedly... That would be pretty sick. A couple things that I hope that will and won't happen with this new system. One, I hope they don't have that stupid Sony memory stick that you have to spend like an extra $60 on for like four gigabytes on Amazon or hunt through eBay to find a used one somewhere. Uh, granted, you can buy them in store, but they're even more expensive and it's, it's just, it's a stupid tactic to make more money. So I hope they drop that. I have like 516 megabytes on my PSP. And then I have maybe two gigabytes on my PS Vita. So I'm hoping they just switch to an SD card. You know, like the Switch has a micro SD card. That would be pretty sweet. And cost efficient for a lot of fans of the PSP that want this system. Especially some people are hoping to see Grand Theft Auto 6 come out on the system. And I don't know how likely that is, but I already know that a 516 megabyte memory stick from Sony ain't going to cut it. There's some people that are really hoping that this is going to come out completely digital with no hard copies of the games but i don't know about you guys but i love having the hard copy of the games i got a whole thing there uh i actually just pulled out boxes to some of my old psp games i'm going to be playing some psp on this channel uh pretty soon i'm pretty excited for it because you know i haven't pulled out my psp in a while i wish i could figure out how to record the psv to screen if you do have any tips on that let me know. I looked something up and I think I have to jailbreak it, which I tried to do before, but it didn't exactly work. So maybe I gotta try a different system, but I want the hard copy games, okay? Sony, if you're watching this, do not make it digital. I understand that digital makes it more travel friendly and this and that, and you're not gonna lose these little tiny games, but 
I know for a fact that I am not the only one that wants a hard copy of the game. It's just something aesthetically pleasing, nostalgic. Nothing is better than buying the game at the store, reading the back of the game, be like, oh my god, I can't wait to play this. But I wish they would keep the manuals in these new games coming out. Because I do miss the game manuals, for sure. Now, I don't want to get you guys too excited because it's not... I, I guarantee it's probably not going to come out within the next two years. If it does, I'll be shocked, but... Hopefully two years is all we have to wait for this because I, I am like so ready for a new PlayStation Portable. When did the PS Vita come out? I think like 20... Definitely the early 20 teens. Like 2012, 2013-ish, maybe around there. Maybe even earlier. I don't know. I have the PS Vita Slim, which I, I was extremely lucky to find at a GameStop. If you don't have a PS Vita, I do recommend it because playing the PlayStation 1 games on here is actually a lot of fun. And Little Big Planet is pretty fun on that as well. But speaking of the PS Vita, I want to ask you guys one last question. Should it have the back touch or other gimmicks like that? Because if you don't know, the PS Vita has this back touch screen for like select games. Like I know Little Big Planet has the use for it, but I don't think many games really utilize this part of it. So let me know if you want to see something like that, like, you know, games on the new PlayStation Portable that have that special feature or is it just something they should drop and just make it a normal PSP, you know? Not like a normal PSP, but like an upgraded, better online experience PSP. That's what I'm really hoping for. I want to be able to play some multiplayer games on that some bitch, let me tell you. And a larger game library. That's, that's what I want. Multiplayer, good multiplayer capabilities and a big game selection. That's all I can ask for in the new PSP2 or PS Vita 2. Here, here's a theory, all right? What if they come out with this and it's basically like a PlayStation Switch? Like it comes with a dock you can hook up and you can play separately. But at the same time, it's like they have the PS Portal for the PS5 that's... I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there's endless possibilities with this, especially with the way technology has been moving. Handheld gaming is a dying breed and I'm really hoping that this new PSP or whatever it's going to be. If it even comes out, still rumored, by the way. I hope it's great. And I hope it revolutionizes handheld gaming once again because that was like, that's that's how I started in gaming. I got the Game Boy Advance SP when I was like five years old and that was like the greatest ever. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. If you have any other info or any other inputs on this new PlayStation system, your hopes, your dreams, your what you hope they don't do with it let me know in the comments i'll be excited to read them but other than that guys drop a like on this video share it with your friends check out our pages in the description down below and keep an eye out for this friday's video thank you for watching keep your heads eyes stay positive keep on grinding gamers deuces